And a couple hours after the end of the 2012 Division I Outdoor Track and Field Championships with Samoy Hackett, the uh, Trinidad and Tobago uh, native and uh, LSU senior sprint star. Tell me, uh, in Trinidad, where, when you first picked up track, when you first got involved, how well, old were you? I first got involved in track at age um, 8 when I competed for the CUT Games under 9. Sorry, go ahead. And I first competed for the CUT Games under 9, and since then I've been running. Okay. And uh, um, tell me, uh, 2008, what that was like running for the, the, the Trinidad uh, at the Olympics, 4x1 and the, and the 100. Well, 2008, the 100 and 4x1 was merely an experience um, event. I went in there having nothing to lose. Um, just try to make it as fast as possible and probably run a um, PR in the process. While 2012 is um, much more serious, we sure. try to go there to actually make it to the finals and try to bring home a medal for Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. What was your favorite? Which, what's the biggest thing you remember from Beijing in 2008? Oh, my favorite thing is when um, watching all those records being broken. Yeah. And also, um, saying that um, our country mate, Richard Thompson, um, who also went to LSU, uh-huh. got the silver in the 100 meters. Right. That was pretty exciting, I bet. Yeah. Um, and then you come to the States and uh, run for two years at Lincoln. Tell me about your dominance there at the Division II level and captured, I think, three. Uh, helped the Blue Tigers win three team titles and then uh, earned, well, I think, 10, 10 individual titles and yeah. set a whole bunch of records. Tell me about, about your time at, at, uh, at Lincoln. My time at Lincoln was a good one, a good experience. So my first two years in college, it opened up my eyes to actually see how life in the U.S. actually is yeah. and made me more focused as an athlete. Um, I met good friends there and still have them up to today and who continue to encourage me to do good. Yeah. While I'm at LSU, what was your uh, anything favorite or that you enjoyed that you experienced in the U.S.? Any kind of food or something different that you didn't experience back home? Um, no, I. Ex- the only good thing that I experienced in the U.S. is that on the collegiate level, you have to push yourself to help contribute to team title, which right. is actually good. It make you like to want to do good. Actually, not doing it for yourself, but doing it for a team title, which feels much better than. Sure. Actually winning one individual title. Right, right. Well, you guys had some amazing teams and great success in the traditions program with Coach Thomas and Coach Smith. And um, did I even see that you even run on one of the 4x4s four hey, one year? National in title? My, in my um, second year, I ran yeah. on the 4x... No, my first year I ran on the 4x4, four four, which was a good experience, but a painful one also. Yeah. Was that tough? Or the, would the coaches have to convince you, do, do a lot of convincing to get you to no, do they, that? Or did you enjoy they that? They didn't have to convince me because it depends on our team title. If we sure. ran, we had also won the the four by four in order to get the team title, and I just went out there and tried to put my best foot forward, and which we came on with the team title. Right. Well, that's good to hear that I'm, not everybody has the same attitude. Some people are, you know, have the me first issue and don't aren't necessarily always willing to give all they have to help the team be the best they can. But. Tell me uh, what it, what it's uh, last two years have been like at LSU, um, All American honors, and and then uh, I know especially last year felt so sick to my stomach for you when they uh, turned the turned the hundred around the opposite direction on that cold rainy night, and you kind of pulled up a little bit short of the hundred prelims and that, missed the final. That was uh, one of my worst experiences I've ever felt. I felt disappointed, not in myself, but as. Um, of the management of the team because I mean the management of the meet because they didn't even tell us which line it was and this yeah. year I saw them put up two cones on each side and they keep instilling which which part the finish line sure. is so I think my experience ha- has helped like improve the the, um, yeah. the way the meet has been run this year but I'm okay with it though because I came out this year and trying to make the finals to help contribute to my team effort yeah. and try to make a run for the title. But I'm okay with what I've done. Um, my body's kind of sore now, and um, I think that with proper rest and um, a lit and more training, I'm gonna go into the Trinidad trials and probably hopefully PR again. Yeah. And uh, well, going back to last year, even though he didn't make that hundred final with that coming up short, did did place in the in the two hundred and won the uh, won the. F- you know, four, by four by one, and coming into this year, um, 
same thing. You got had a great race in the, on, on Wednesday in the, in the 100 prelims and qualified for the final. And you guys cruised quick time in the, in the prelims for the 4x1. And then, let's see, last night in the 100 final, what, fifth place? Yeah, I came third in the 4x. I came third in the 100 and That's fifth right. in the 200. You and Kimberlin, yeah. Um, uh, 200 time were the times for the 100 wasn't as expected. Super windy, wasn't it yeah, today? Because, yeah, it was windy, and um, I was satisfied with my time with my performance in the 100, but not in my 200. I felt tired going into the meet, sure. into the race because it's only about the, a 25 or 30 minute turnaround before yeah, you finish. Yeah, I actually felt tired going in. I just went out there to run and to help score as much um, points as possible. Yeah, and just try to get my body back to the way I know I could be running so yeah I'm okay yeah you're I think right when we were talking before we started here that it, it is kind of a tight schedule and I think when they originally set that schedule up it was all excited because we were going to have two hours of live television let's cram a bunch of the final events in there but really does a disservice to uh, people like you and, and Ken City native Maurice Mitchell who have run that four by one and then they got to turn around and before they even wipe the sweat off the brow they got to be in the blocks for the 200 final. So. Yeah, that was a disadvantage. Because some people who didn't make the final, who team wasn't in the relay, they were in the 200 final. Yeah. So that gave them advantage over us. So sure. I think that um, the people need to like think about the athletes first yeah. instead of like just um, focusing on television. Sure. Broadcasting. Yeah. Now, what what is your PR in the two hundred? Was did you run that yesterday? Was that 20? no? But I run my PR um, at the regional twenty twenty two fifty five, okay. and I run twenty two fifty eight. Eight yesterday. Yeah. And like I think, if the win, if we run, if we didn't have to run into that headwind, the times would have been faster. And if we had a little more rest, that um, everyone would have performed and it would have been a great race. Right, right. But unfortunately. It wasn't like that. It's a quick track and, and, and uh, not new for you. You've had a lot of Drake Relays titles yeah. there for Lincoln and then uh, obviously uh, success there at Nationals last year. And um, and then what? tell me about your 100 PR. Which, when, what's your best time in the, in the 100? My best legal time in the 100 is 10, 11.10, which I run at the SEC Championship meet. Okay. And then tell me how many weeks till the, till the, the, the um, Trinidad uh, trials? But it's, um, it's approximately um, two weeks before I line up to run the 100 at the Trinidad Trials. Okay. Which I'm hoping to go there and run a good, well-executed race and help right. uh, make the Olympic team. Yeah. And help um, run the 4 by one to help qualify or 4 by one to the London Olympic. Yeah. Do you ever let yourself dream about putting on that uniform again and maybe helping the team get to the finals and, and uh, maybe even in the individual race and maybe getting on that podium and getting getting a medal someday? Yes, I always dream of going on the podium for the Olympic because this is like one of, we have a strong team this year. We had a strong team last year and we have a young set of ladies, young ladies who is like determined and everyone wants us to do good. So I think the drive we have, we'll go out there and perform to the best of our ability yeah. and no matter who is in our lane, who is in our race or what name we have. I think we can go out there and give it our best shot. Right, right. Well, I'm hoping I uh, win the lottery or, or keep my cross, fingers crossed or uh, God bless me somehow to make it out to London. So hopefully I will see you there, but and hopefully things go well with the trials. Yeah. But tell me also capturing uh, the the, uh, the team title and what that meant. Obviously you won a couple at Lincoln and now to finish your, your last uh, season and come away with the LSU national champions again. Tell me what that feels like. I think it's, it's a very good experience. I think that the main reason why we win this team title is because everyone was hungry for the team title and the coaches supported us like 100%. And at least like um, they went beyond their, their, what they're accustomed to doing yeah. in, in effort to like go out there and score the most points as possible because everyone actually wanted a team title. And I think the drive that we had coming into this meet um, helped elevate our performance yeah. to um, capture the team title. Is it? Have you learned over the years to, if you let's say you have a bad race and then it, have you learned to, is it easy to just forget about that and move on and be focused to the next one? I know to me it would, things would linger and I'd be upset and just like, you know, have you learned to get better at just 
Okay, I've if learned, you're disappointed a little bit, just to, okay, focus. And now I'm going to run fast in this one. And I've learned to um, get over um, situations much better than how I previously was. Yeah. But um, one contribution is the coach or female coach, Paris. She helped talk us through our race and like, tell us, put it behind and no yeah. focus on what it, it's a new day. So we need to go out there and perform. It's a new day. Every day is a new opportunity. So let's go and like make things happen for ourselves right. and for the team. So that's what I think helped. Um, contribute to our success right right well congratulations on a great college career and hopefully many more uh, wonderful things to come for you and good luck and stay healthy and hopefully some more prs at the trials in a couple weeks and then uh we'll see you we let's say things go well um would you then head to europe and try to get some races in before before yeah. before london i assume yeah okay well, keep it up and uh, congratulations. Thank you. And hopefully we'll we'll be watching you and uh, have some great success in uh, in London. Thank you. All right. Thank you.